Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Everyone knows Maslow and his pyramid of needs, right? Don't feel bad if you don't, it is just one of those psychological concepts psychologists like to come up with to illustrate explanations of the weird human mind. Not that this Maslow, he was pretty cool. And a lot of these guys and gals were rather brilliant in what they came up with. I only know who Maslow was because I had to study him in therapy school. Here's the skinny on Maslow, courtesy of Wikipedia. Abraham Harold Maslow, born on April 1, 1908, and died on June 8, 1970, was an American psychologist who created Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, a theory of psychological health, predicated on fulfilling innate human needs in priority, culminating in self-actualization. Maslow was a psychology professor at Brandeis University, Brooklyn College, New School for Social Research, and Columbia University. He stressed the importance of focusing on the positive qualities in people, as opposed to treating them as a bag of symptoms. A review of General Psychology Survey, published in 2002, ranked Maslow as the 10th most cited psychologist of the 20th century. Bag of Symptoms. I like him already. Anyway, I will focus on his famous pyramid of needs for this video. Let's take a look at it. As the diagram illustrates, Maslow's pyramid of needs is in a pyramid shape. The shape is divided into five levels. The first, base, level is described as physiological needs. This is where food, water, shelter, clothing, breathing, etc. are sought as a need. A large portion of people on Earth have satisfied this level, but of course, many have not. Certainly, in North America, most have moved to the second level. Here we find safety and security. This is the level of need that includes health, employment, property, family, and security. I am proposing that we are essentially stuck at this level, and this is the level that the agenda is primarily focused on keeping us. I will come back to this after going through the other levels. Next up is love and belonging. You would think that most of the developed world would be here. This is where relationships become the priority, romance, friendship, family, children, intimacy, and most importantly, a sense of connection. Although the culture struggles to reach this level, the agenda puts forth most of its effort to push us back down into level 2. Level 3 is dangerous to the agenda, it is where humans begin to function as humans, and not as consumer machines. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Level 4, very few of us are engaged with. This is the level of self-esteem. Here we focus on confidence, personal achievement, and most importantly, the need to be a unique individual. Of course, the agenda will do everything in its power to keep us from spending any time here at all. The last level, 5, is self-actualization, which encompasses the need for a sense of morality, creativity, spontaneity, purpose, meaning, and inner potential. How many of us are at this elusive level? How many sheep are here? This level, according to the agenda, must be avoided at all costs. Spirituality, religion, and deep insight are all major taboos to the agenda whose primary aim is the complete acquiescence of the masses. Their goal, of course, is total control. They wish to be the god, the religion, and the spiritual center of everyone's universe. One way to accomplish this is through the conversion of science to a religion, scientism, and to make the purpose and meaning of life, consumption, consumerism. Let's go back to level 2 for a moment. 
I had forgotten after the many years that have passed since I studied Maslow's Pyramid of Needs as a student, that this level consists of the need for security. Here is a quote from the website Simply Psychology, that sheds a bit more light on this concept. Safety needs can be fulfilled by the family and society, for example, police, schools, business, and medical care. For example, emotional security, financial security, for example, employment, social welfare, law and order, freedom from fear, social stability, property, health, and well-being, for example, safety against accidents and injury. I found this intriguing after my recent revisit to Maslow's concepts. Police, schools, business, and medical care, not to mention government, are primary need fulfillment sources in level 2. It all started to make sense why the agenda must make every effort to keep us all as deeply ensconced in level 2 as possible. Fearmongering, consumerism, and medical dependence are all essential elements to keep us from passing through this level onto the higher levels of individuation and self-actualization. Just about everything that is happening in the world today seems designed to keep us at level 2. The dangers to the agenda of levels 3, 4, and 5 are simply unacceptable to them. Keeping us all in a state of perpetual fear is one of the key strategies for ensuring that security is just beyond reach. I don't have to describe how that tactic has been utilized and is continuing to be utilized for decades. There is the ethical fear that is continually thrown at us day in and day out, fear of cancer, fear of heart disease, fear of mental illness, fear of sugar, fear of cholesterol, fear of this, and fear of that. The entire medical industry is dependent on fostering fear, and then offering a solution for what we are afraid of, which, more often than not, entails more drugs, and more treatments to treat the side effects of the original treatment. Then there is the general fear of life itself, fear of financial disaster, fear of terrorism, fear of natural disaster, fear of fires, fear of earthquakes, fear of flooding, fear of tropical storms, fear of climate warming, the granddaddy of all fears. So, it is clear that inciting fear is a very powerful method to keep a sense of security at bay. Therefore, we stay at level 2, and as Maslow said, we cannot comfortably move to the next level, until the needs of the lower level we occupy are met. Fear isn't the only tactic at the disposal of the agenda. There are others. Such as keeping the culture at a constant level of overwhelming consumption of things, thus creating a sense of worth only through consumption and acquisition. Dependence on cell phones, video games, drugs, and, of course, dependence on the government itself. All these dependencies can be manipulated from the top. They can be taken away, or the need for them increased, whatever is necessary to keep us feeling insecure, thus the needs of level 2 are never met. Take a closer look at the levels above level 2. The next one is a connection with other human beings. See how the agenda has done its darndest to keep us from filling those needs. Love of family, of each other, deep sexual intimacy that only comes through meaningful encounters with the object of one's sexual orientation, are all needs of level 3. It is clear the agenda does not want us venturing into level 3, let alone levels 4 and 5. If we do, we might actually start functioning like human beings, and it is quite clear no one in the elite class wants that. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.